It is crunch time at the Oregon State Capitol as the legislative session deadline quickly approaches tonight. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel has been following the latest from Salem and she joins us live tonight with an update. Audrey. Kelsey, the Senate just adjourned minutes ago, ending the legislative session for them. Now, this final day in the Capitol here, at least on the Senate side, has been full of delays and recesses from the start. The Senate session began two hours later than originally scheduled as senators tried to figure out the order of the bills. But that's not the only reason for delay. Senator Shamia Fagan tells us there's also a stir over Senator Brian Boquist, who was on the floor Sunday for the first time since the walkout. Senator Floyd Przanski told OPB that a complaint was filed against Boquist after he drew criticism for comments he made prior to the walkout and that there's a hearing on that complaint scheduled for July. Senator Kim Thatcher is on the conduct committee but said she couldn't comment. And when I found Senator Boquist in the hallway, he said, what complaint? I certainly hope that the conduct committee may meet and Republicans and Democrats come together to say, yep, it's unacceptable to threaten violence in the Oregon State Capitol. In all of this, excused from the floor for a good part of the day was Senator Sarah Gelser, though she nor her office would tell us why. Still, there was business to get to more than 100 bills passed here Saturday, and Sunday they worked through the rest, including HB 2005, which creates a family and medical leave insurance program. That passed. And HB 2001, it allows duplexes on certain land that's for single family homes. It failed on a first vote, but then passed on a second vote. And as the day went on, there was some relief here. I think we're all happy to be putting a lid on it real soon. And again, now that tense Senate session has come to an end. We're live in Salem, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.